today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a seed bead brooch with the items provided in your art to go kit. We have seed beads and here we have safety pins. We have one large safety pin and we have 12 small safety pins. So the first step is going to be to take this bundle of safety pins and remove all the small safety pins from the large ones and just set the large one aside for now. We'll come back to it later. And then we're going to take all of our little safety pins and I just like to open these up. It makes your next step easier if you don't have to go back and open up every safety pin all at once. So once you have all of your safety pins open, you're going to start beading each pin. So taking some of the seed beads from your kit, I just like to grab a couple in my hand and then kind of feed them on to the sharp end of your safety pin. Careful not to poke yourself. And I like to get a nice variation of color and texture in the beads. They're all kind of a different size and shape. And I think that makes it just a little bit more fun and more interesting. Make sure that you leave a little bit on the end of your safety pin and that's going to allow it to close. So do that to all of your safety pins and then you're going to have 12 small safety pins that are all colorful and have these nice variations of beads on there and it's going to be a really pretty, really fun brooch. So now we're going to come back to our large safety pin and open it up and then taking one at a time, one of our small pins, we're just going to feed it, feed the sharp end of this large safety pin through the small hole on the small safety pin. And you notice there's this little coil that we have to bring it around. So if I want um, my beads facing up this way, I'm just going to make sure to bring it around, keeping the beads face up, and then they'll end up on the other side also face up. So. Make sure that if you want, if you're right-handed and you want a pin that's for a right-handed person, you're going to make sure that this pointy pin stem is facing to the right. So I'm just going to do that with all of my pins, feeding them up and around. Making sure again that they're all facing the same direction. Feel free to fast forward the video if you don't want to watch me just feeding on the rest of my safety pins, but this is our last step. And it's pretty easy, pretty meditative. And then the final step is just to close your safety pin. And now we have a beautiful safety pin brooch and you can wear this and it really livens up an outfit, really makes things bright and colorful. So I hope you enjoy it.